So now we discuss our in our previous slide we are discussing about what are the components of bridge. Okay. So now we continue that slide and uh, see here what are the components of your bridges. That is uh, substructure components. Okay. So substructure components that is contain first of all your pier, abutment, wing walls and uh, foundation. So basically I want to explain about what is pier. Okay. See here this picture. In this picture I have showing here the piles, pier cap and this one is your pier. So the piers are vertically structures which is used to support deck or the bearing provided for the load transmission to underground soil through the foundation okay so the main purpose of the work of the, uh, the work of this fire is to transport the load uh, from the superstructure to the substructure uh, through the substructure to the ground soil okay and this structure which serves as a support for the bridge span is intermediate point and the pier structures has uh, mainly two functions. First one is the load transmission to the foundation and uh, it registers to the horizontal forces. Okay. So next we discuss about uh, what are the types of pier in bridge construction. So there are different types of pier which is based on the uh, structure connection. Uh, based on the structure connectivity, the pier can be classified uh, monolithic or uh, cantilever. And uh, based on the shape of the section pier can be classified as solid or hollow and hexagonal, round or octagonal or rectangular. Okay. And uh, based on the forming configuration, the pier can be classified as a single or multiple column bend or pier wall type. Uh, so this is all about your pier. Next one we discuss about abutment. In this picture this is your abutment. Okay. So abutment are uh, vertical structures which used to retain the earth behind the structure. So see here in this bridge behind the structure there are only present the soil. So to retain this soil we are providing or we are constructing this abutment. So the dead and the life load from the bridges superstructure is supported by the bridge abutment so whatever the load or whatever the be, uh, load uh, life load or dead load are appear over the bridges that are supported by your abutment and the abutment uh, are also subjected to lateral pressure mainly from the approaches embankment and uh, the abutment have to design requirements similar to retaining wall as well as pier construction and uh, the abutment are primarily designed to restrict to overturning and sliding. The special care uh, to provide it from the foundation of the abutment and the abutment foundation must overcome the problems of differential settlement and the excessive movements which cause due to the lateral forces. So whatever the displacement uh, occurs due to the lateral forces that will be retained or that will be overcome by the help of your abutment. Okay. So the next one is your wing wall. So see here in this picture this is where is your wing wall. So basically the structure constructed as an extension of the abutment to retain the earth pressure in the approaches bank are called wing wall okay and uh, this portion will otherwise have a natural angle of reproach and there are retaining wall constructed adjacent to the abutment and the rear of the wall must consider three design load that is the earth pressure from the backfill the searches from the life load and the hydraulic load from the substructure soil condition and uh, the stability of the wing wall is mainly based on its resistance against the activity earth pressure, active earth pressure. And uh, the structure element of the bridges are really designed and constructed to restrict the earth pressure as rest. Next one we discuss about what is your parapet and handrails. Okay. 
so this components in this picture all of you see here this is your railing which one we call handrails and uh, parapets that is the this components of the bridges are not uh, of structural imp importance but uh, provide for the safety corner and these are provided above the deck and these are helps in prevention of vehicle from falling off the bridge into the water body below or as to mean for the separate of the traffic stream okay so next part is your foundation of bridge so foundation are the structures constructed to the transmitted the load from the pier and uh, abutment coning of walls and returns evenly the strata and the foundation provided from the bridge structure are uh, deep in sufficient manner to avoid scoring due to the water movement or reduce the chance of under watering okay and uh, next we discuss what are the classification of bridge so according to the material of construction of superstructure according to the form of type of structures according to the function according to the interspan relation and according to the span length it will be classified okay so the bridge will be classified by different types basically materials uh, which we are using for construction what type of the structure what type the function of the bridges what is the relation interrelation between the spans and what are the length span according to this condition your bridge will be classified so come to the next slide so basically classification of the bridges that is uh, there are many types of bridges and uh, they can be classified into many different way and uh, the types of structures elements uh, used by the what they carry whatever they are fixed or uh, movable and by the materials used one is your beam bridge truss bridge cantilever bridge arch bridge and uh, suspension bridge okay cable stayed bridge double deck bridge okay so first one we discuss about what is your beam bridge okay so mainly structural element of the beam bridge is a horizontal beam that is supported uh, at each end and uh, they can be simply supported when the beam only connected across a single span or uh, continuous with the beam are constructed across two or more span okay so basically we will show you this okay so what are the materials of construction your timber masonry steel reinforced concrete prestressed concrete and composite and see here the images this is a timber bridge and this bridge is a shorter span and the bridge will be constructed only by the help of your material timber this is your masonry bridge and this bridge is constructed only masonry work next this is your steel bridge which is the materials used steel this is your concrete bridge this is your composite bridge okay see here the types of bridges different type of trusses here this is your beam bridge this is your cantilever bridge okay this is your cable stayed bridge which is supported by the steels this is your arch bridge this is your cable uh, stayed uh, fan bridge and cable stayed hub bridge okay so first of all we discuss about what is your beam bridge so mainly structural elements of a beam bridge is a horizontal beam and that is supported at each end and uh, they can be simply supported when the beam only connected cross a single span or continuous with a beam are connected across two or more span second one is a truss bridge so it is a bridge whose load bearing substructure is composed of the truss a structure of connected elements forming triangular unit and they are one of the oldest type of modern bridge next one is your cantilever bridge cantilever bridge it is built using cantilever 
structural elements that are supported uh, on only one end and uh, that forms their project horizontally into space and they are usually made from a pair of continuous span that is extend from opposite side okay and cantilever bridges is constructed similarly to the beam bridges next come to the arches bridge it has uh, abutment uh, at each end which holds the weight of the bridge and uh, they are one of the uh, old oldest bridges uh, structure and uh, are built since the ancient greek and uh, this triad arches bridges also have to are shaped superstructure but uh, their arches above the level of the bridge and uh, it holds its form above okay so see here the structure how this look like this is uh, supported by this uh, top surface next one is your suspension bridge this one suspension bridge so it holds weight of the bridge with cable see here this uh, here these cables are connected okay and uh, in ancient time these bridges were made from uh, rope or uh, bhanis and today we are using uh, for constructing steel and substructure type includes the simple suspension bridges the stressed ribbon bridge the underspan suspension bridge the suspension deck suspension bridge and the self anchored suspension bridge okay so next come to cable stayed bridge okay cable stayed bridges means uh, these are the similar to suspension bridges and uh, also use cable but uh, they are from in different they have uh, Uh, fewer cables and towers that holds cable and such higher okay and uh, bridges uh, can also be fixed or movable and it fixed stayed in place from moment uh, they are built until they fail or are demolished okay demolished on the other hand there are uh, movable bridges are uh, made so they can be move out to the way of the boat and uh, other traffic that must pass below that uh, but could not because of the because uh, the bridge are is too low there are usually electrically powered and uh, last one is the double deck these are uh, built have two level these two level sometimes uh, are to the same type while other cages uh, they can carry different type of traffic okay so next part we will discuss in our next slide thank you